one in this House of the seriousness of the question, Minister. No. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. As my right honourable friend, the Foreign Secretary, sat out, set out on the 31st of January, we are now laying legislation to broaden the designation criteria for the Russia sanctions regime. As the Minister for Europe, I have signed the legislation which we will lay before Parliament and intend to come into force this afternoon. We are toughening and expanding our sanctions regime in response to Russia's aggression against Ukraine. This legislation will significantly broaden the range of people, businesses and other entities that we can sanction in response to any further Russian aggression. As the Foreign Secretary has set out, this will amount to the toughest sanctions regime against Russia that we have had and mark the biggest change in our approach since leaving the European Union. The Foreign Secretary is in Moscow as we speak, calling on Russia to pursue a diplomatic solution to this crisis. We have made clear, however, that if Russia continues to ignore calls to de-escalate and respect Ukraine's territorial sovereignty, it will face serious consequences. Alongside the United States and other international partners, the UK is preparing an unprecedented package of coordinated sanctions that mean those who share responsibility for Russia's actions will bear a heavy cost. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm grateful to you for granting this urgent question. I do not need to remind anyone in the House of the seriousness of the build-up of Russian forces on Ukraine's borders. We stand united in opposition to Russian aggression and in support of Ukraine's sovereignty. We urgently want to de-escalate this crisis and we support diplomatic efforts to achieve that goal. But our diplomacy must be matched by deterrence. On the 31st, the Foreign Secretary announced to Parliament the Government's plan to put in place what she called the toughest sanction regime against Russia. She said the package that we are putting forward in legislation will be in place by the 10th of February. It is now the 10th of February and no such legislation has been put in place. As the Foreign Secretary meets her counterpart in Moscow, media reports suggest the plan has fallen through. The House rises today, leaving no parliamentary time for the Government to put the legislation in place until after the recess. This raises very troubling uh, uh, questions about the risks that Russian action against Ukraine could take place without the necessary legal measures in place to allow Britain to respond. What is the reason? for the delay. Um, what reassurance can he offer this House without the legislation in place that the Government can implement severe sanctions if they are needed? Mm -hmm. Promises made to this House should be kept. Honourable members deserve the opportunity to scrutinise and debate these measures and they need to be in place. I do not want these sanctions to join the long list of measures to counter Russian aggression that have been ignored or delayed, like the Economic Crime Bill, the Reform of Companies House, the Register of Overseas Entities Bill, the Foreign Agent Registration Law, the new counter espionage laws, the list goes on, Mr Speaker. With 130,000 troops threatening Ukraine, the opposition stands ready to work with the government in the national interest to get the appropriate measures in place. We can only do so if the government keeps its promise to be, bring forth this sanctions legislation. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr Speaker, thank you. Uh, and I welcome the uh, Right Honourable Gentleman's uh, unanimity of voice with regard to his opposition to uh, Russia's aggressive actions on the uh, border of Ukraine. And he is absolutely right that in uh, times of high tension like this, it is incredibly important that both our uh, allies and others understand that there really is unanimity of purpose uh, across uh, the House. And I thank him for that. As I said in my initial statement, I have signed the legislation which we intend to lay in Parliament and intend to come into force this afternoon. Um, the, uh, the Foreign Secretary is pursuing uh, uh, the uh, diplomatic pressure, uh, as I say, face to face with Russia. Uh, I, the Foreign Secretary, the Prime Minister uh, and senior officials have regular uh, uh, interactions with our uh, friends and allies, um, uh, both in Europe and across the Atlantic. And I can assure the House, I can assure the House that they regularly express gratitude for the robustness of the UK's approach 
uh, in, this, uh, in this issue. We will continue to pursue uh, a diplomatic uh, track, but the, the Foreign Secretary is making it clear to the Russians as we speak that if they, are, if they, if they miss the opportunity to de-escalate, there will be repercussions. Richard Grimm.